All right, y'all. So for this video, I'm just going to focus on the ending of Act 2 because it was absolutely insane. We have to talk about it. All right, so where should I start off? Let, you know what? Let me start out when Jace got out of the arcane anomaly or whatever, right? Because as soon as he came out, it's like, girl, it grew a beard, disheveled. I mean, wig slipping, wig slipping. You see what I'm saying? So he came looking for Victor and I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I was like, whoa, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute, Jace, are we really about to kill another kid? Like when he starts swinging that hammer looking for looking for um, Victor, I was like, girl, you swinging this hammer. Are we really about to kill another kid? Uh, Jace, like what's going on? <laughs> what's going on? So yeah, as Jace is going to go look for this man and like swinging his, swinging this hammer. I was just like, you know, at this point, Jace must think that Victor's hex tech healing or whatever he got going on is not a miracle. Rather, it's a curse that could potentially spread a deadly magical void across the world or something. Because, like, I'm wondering what you saw in that anomaly. Like, it, it's to me, it seemed like it was a time jump for you. Like, obviously, it was a time jump for everybody. Like, I need to see what you saw because... It has to it has to be some kind of Armageddon that you thought that Victor was gonna bring on with his powers or with the hex tech technology, whatever, you know, with his community. That it that that had to be the only reason why you would come over here and, and kill Victor. Like, oh <laughs> you got a lot of explaining to do. When I tell you that Victor was sitting there looking like he was Dr. Octopus, Doc Ock or something. Just sitting, just sitting there. <laughs> Just in, and, and this be my problem with some people who are like omnipotent almost like like almost omnipotent. I want the weaknesses to make sense because like ain't no way that I'm gonna have all this awareness that I'm sitting down here getting recharged like I'm a battery or something and I don't feel Jace annoying self walk up. You should smell that cologne. <laughs> I know Jace got on some ob obnoxious cologne. I know it. I know it. So at the very least, Victor, you should have smelled that cologne. I don't know what he was doing. Sitting there hibernating like I just put my PlayStation in, in rest mode. Like, sis, like what is going on? Oh my gosh. When I tell you that Jace whipped out his hammer like he thought he was Thor or something and he zapped Victor, I said, you know what? I take it back. I said that Jace was hot before, but I take it back. I take it back. Because Jace, <laughs> Jace, if you cannot explain this, you, I mean... I'm flushing you down the toilet, baby. <laughs> I'm so, I'm so sorry. And I mean, at this point, like, I'm hoping that Victor has enough power to, 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 you know, because he was, it, it gave me like Scarlet Witch omnipotent type, like, it, that, that's what his powers was giving me. So I'm hoping that he can, you know, wake me up inside and save me from my, uh, you need to wake Victor, Victor, wake yourself up inside right now. I'm just giving Evanescence. Bring Victor to life bring him back to life bring yourself back to life bring yourself back online like they say um on westward did they say what westworld what they say bring yourself online i need whatever whatever process you need to go through i need for you to do it now right before jace was going to zap victor i don't know if you saw it but there were it was like there were multiple versions of jace coming out of himself like crying out almost like like these versions of jace were trying to stop the stop himself like stop him from doing this do you think that that do y'all think that's the case? Because I saw multiple faces coming out of Jay's face uh, of himself. I was like, girl, maybe he's seeing himself from some weird time loopy thing. And it was just like, no, this is Victor. Don't kill him. I don't know. Either either case, girl, we're going to have to get Jace on the witness day. We're going <laughs> to we're going to have to get Jace to swear on Piltover's constitution. Bring him up. <laughs> bring him bring him up to the court so we can hear. Why would you ever do some stuff like this? And in the end, Victor leaned over, leaned up against this wall, collapsed, and still has the time to be giving us speeches, mental speeches, speeches or something about how heinous acts and great ones or good and evil acts or whatever are all two sides of the same coin. What did he say? Uh, he said, that which inspires us to our greatest good is also the cause of our greatest evil. And I'm just like, I'm very glad. I'm so happy, Victor, that you're able to give a sermon even when half your chest is caved out. I'm happy for you, my mama. But instead of speaking and giving us all these encouraging words, I love it. Love it. <laughs> instead of giving us all these encouraging words, I need for you to stand up. I need for <laughs> I, you wasting energy speaking into this mic, giving us a sermon at the pulpit. Like, you already, 
you know, walk around here looking like you somebody's uh, arch Jesus archetype, like you, and you got the powers to match, Mama. Like you, you, okay, we get it. You, you, you like to give us sermons. We get it. What you need to spend your energy doing is getting up. <laughs> you need to be getting up. We, you need to be getting up. I'm so serious. I'm so serious. Like I said, there's a gigantic hole in your chest. Your wig is slipping. Uh, your community is literally dying. Oh my gosh, I was so mad because I loved his little community. I loved it so much. Like he healing all these people who had that shimmer stuff going on. And I was like, yeah, girl, we run around. We, you know, y'all, y'all having brunch and stuff. We going to the club. Like, yeah, yeah, that's a little, it's a little friend group. It's a little community. I loved it. But I kind of knew that all that was too good to be true. And the, one of the characters were talking about, you know, what if it, and they were telling it to um, Victor. They were saying, what if, what if your community ends? Like basically when you die, your community will end too. So like, I think it was because he was trying to heal Vander and they were scared, like what would happen? Um, so, I mean, either way, I can't wait to see what's going on. Like with all that and, and the, the fallout when it comes to Jace and Victor. Jace, I am on to you. Do you hear what I'm saying? Jace, I'm on to you. I'm on to you. You've been making me mad. You've been really making me mad for for the longest. Now, this was the cherry on top. You, you got a lot of explaining to do. Now, when Jace killed Victor, apparently, this is what I'm gaining from it. Uh, apparently, it disrupted the attempts to stabilize Vander's transformation. Uh, Victor had been trying to heal him. We, we already know. So I think that messed things up when he, uh, when, 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 what's his face? When, when Jace zapped him. Right. Also singed, probably sabotage things, I think, because he was trying to permanently turn Vander into that beast. Yeah. So, I, I mean, it was a combination of a lot of things. Eventually, Vander lost all control. And now once Isha saw Jinx getting knocked around and stuff like she took matters into her own hands, uh, <laughs> much to literally everyone's dismay. Um, Mama's picked up that gun right now look at jinx face when she realizes what isha is like actually trying to do she's like wait 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 <laughs> hold on hold on um vi had to end up holding jinx back but yeah isha killed vander and i was so gagged <laughs> like i was so gagged, and it didn't seem like some kid who didn't know what they were doing didn't know the risks of it because when isha put up that gun and put like she closed her eyes like, basically, to me, just accepting, like, yeah, this is going to blow up in my face, but it's okay because I am saving my friends from this monster. Now, I just, from the from the trailers, right, it seems like either Vander's body is still somewhere because I saw some mechanism being plugged into him in, like, the, the trailers for Act 3. I don't know if it's just his dead body and they trying to wake it back up again. I'm just like, girl, oh my goodness, how many times y'all going? You know, but I'm hoping based off of the trailers, the trailer for Act 3, that not only Vander is going to be here in some capacity. I don't know how anybody could have survived that explosion. But hey, Mel survived the explosion from last season. So, <laughs> so maybe, maybe it'll work. So yeah, based off of the trailers or trailer for Act 3, I, I wonder what's going on with Vander's body because I think we saw it in there. And also, I think we saw um, part, like a member of Victor's community, we saw those fingerprints that he left on them start to glow back again. So unless like Hextech is hijacking something that Victor did and he's, de he's dead, like he could still be, he could be the reason why their faces are glowing again in the uh, trailer for Act 3. So... I don't know. What do y'all think, y'all? Like, what do y'all think? I've been telling y'all. I think last video I said Jace has been really making me mad. Jace been, I mean, he just been hopping into stuff without that, touching stuff, without thinking about it. Touching stuff. That's, that's what Jace loved to do. Mess with stuff and not think about it. Not, not even think about the repercussion. He just do, he just jump into it. Like, you, you done messed up your whole friend. You didn't, you didn't. <laughs> You put the hex core in your friend and expected him to be worshiping you, worshiping you when he woke up, my mind. Like, and and by friend, I do mean, you know, there's some limp wrist activity going on there and I do approve. I do approve. Maybe we can see a tape or something. When, <laughs> maybe J Jason Victor can make a tape when they make up. And so, you know, that will make up for all the, the, the torture and pain that Jace done put us through as an audience. Maybe we can see a, a fan service kind of tape, uh, OnlyFans tape between Jace and, um, <laughs> between Jace and Victor. Maybe that would make up for it. But right now, Jace, you are annoying me. I can't wait to tune in to act three and see what's going on there. Please tell me what you thought of this act, this installment of Arcane. Love y'all so much.
and I'll check y'all later. All right, y'all, make sure that you're going to www.zaraxia.com. When you join the wait list there on the site, you will be the first to be notified when I drop my sequel. Also, you'll immediately get chapter one of my upcoming sequel of the upcoming book uh, sent to your email as a PDF. So check that out. Also, this is a different excerpt uh, from my upcoming book. So you definitely want to pause to read if you're trying to get your life. Uh, keep in mind that this upcoming book, the sequel, is following up the first book that is already released called Zaraxia Wrath of the God King. Um, I released it a couple years ago, a few years ago. It was my, really, it was my introduction to writing uh, fantasy and stuff. So just go easy on me. But either way, as you can see here, it's giving 4.9 stars. It's giving 4.9 stars. So yeah, check out Zaraxia Wrath of the God King while you wait for Zaraxia, the vengeance of cold wind, right? And go to Zaraxia.com, sign up, join the wait list, get your free chapter. Thank you so much.